Hey guys, this is Agi, that's a -double -G -I, with Drums Bonedo, and today we'll take a look at this beauty back there, which is the F Note 7X. Enjoy! The F Note 7X is an expanded version of the F Note 7, so that's what the X stands for, and they are quite close to each other. The sound module is exactly the same. Same sounds, same functions, same everything. What sets the 7X apart from the smaller version is that it includes an additional floor tom and two additional cymbals. And of course, there's the black oak finish. The standard edition of the F Note 7 is white sparkle. Let's take a closer look at the drums and cymbals. The kit comes with a 20 by 15 kick, a 14 by 5.5 snare, an 11 by 8 tom that in this case is mounted on a snare stand, a 13 by 13 floor tom, this is the additional one with the 7X, and a 15 by 15 floor tom. As you can see, these are all real full size drum shells. They're made of 6 ply birch and they all have trigger zones for head and rim. Now one thing I like about the snare is that it has an additional side rim sensor for triggering cross sticks, while the rim of the drum itself triggers rim shots. This is a simple and reliable way of combining these techniques without ever having to press any buttons on the module. Side note, this goes not only for the 7X, but for all drum kits by F Note. The cymbals that also come with the smaller F Note 7 are a 14 inch hi-hat, a 16 inch crash and a massive 20 inch ride. The expanded F Note 7X comes with an additional 8 inch splash and a 17 inch effect symbol that actually has holes in it. Now this has been done before, but look at all the detail and how they recreated the hammering. Nice. The crash and ride are triple zone pads with a bell, bow and edge while the other cymbals are dual zone. They all got 360 triggering so you can play on the entire cymbal and you don't have to care if they start to spin around. And of course, they all feature a choke function around the edge as well. I think it's a great thing that the F Note 7X is going full size with all drums and cymbals. This is also one of the main differences between the F Note 7 slash 7X and the F Note 5 slash 5X that has smaller sizes. So as I said before, the sound module of the F Note 7X is exactly the same as with the standard version of the F Note 7. It's also pretty close to the F Note 5, but it does come with more sounds and different kits. The monochrome touchscreen could or maybe should be a little more sensitive, but well, that's probably not a deal breaker. Apart from that, the menu is very intuitive and pretty self-explanatory. There's a metronome a basic recorder, a set list function to quickly change kits, and I really like the practice tool that shows you the accuracy of your timing. That's a fun thing to play with. And apart from that, you get the typical trigger settings and an internal mixer with basic effects and routing options. Talking about routing, the F Note 7X features a single stereo output plus a headphone jack. So the kit's not really designed for big stages where you send out a lot of different channels to the front of house mixer. And if that's what you're going for, then you should probably wait for the F Note Pro series that has just been revealed recently. With the F Note 7X, you could use the headphone output to separate kick and snare from the rest of the kit. Or you might go all mono and assign kick and snare to the left output and toms and cymbals to the right output of the stereo out. After all, stereo is not too big of a deal on bigger stages. The module does work as an 8-in, 2-out audio interface though, and also as a MIDI interface. So recording individual tracks or using software like TuneTrack, Easy Drummer or Superior Drummer is not a problem. Input-wise, you get a stereo line-in, and what's probably more important, you can pair the module with your smartphone via Bluetooth. There also is a smartphone tray that sits right under the module. So playing along with Spotify or the streaming service of your choice works perfectly fine. You can also use the F Note Tools app to do some basic stuff 
like managing trigger settings and kits. Some new kits can be downloaded there as well, but these are all limited to the sounds that already are stored on the module. So just to be clear, there's no sample import on this one. Now, before we get to listen to some of the kits, let's see how setting up works with the F-Note7X. The kit comes in four boxes, and two of them weigh around about 50 pounds, so it's a good idea to get some help if you need to carry them. Inside, everything's packed up nicely in separate boxes. Here, you see me opening up the box with the hi-hats. But let's cut the long story short and see what's inside. There's the kick, the snare, and the three toms with three legs each for both floor toms. Then there's the ride, the hi-hats, and the crash, and the additional effects symbol, and splash. The hardware bundle comes with three cymbal stands and two snare stands, one for the snare and one for the small tom. A hi-hat stand and a bass drum pedal are not included. Then of course, there's the sound module, the smartphone tray, two simple mounts for the sound module and the splash cymbal, a bunch of cables, the power adapter, and some paperwork. And that's it. Now, setting up the kit was pretty straightforward. The whole process took me about 30 to 45 minutes for the first time, and I didn't feel like I had to take a look into the quick side guide at all. The thing with most electronic drum sets is that you have to figure out the drum rack first. And that can be a bit tricky sometimes. But well, the F-Note 7X does not come with a drum rack. So if you ever set up an acoustic drum set before, this one will probably feel pretty familiar to you. Here's a fun thing. The F-Note 7X comes with a mount extension screw for cymbals. And yes, this means that the splash can actually be stack mounted onto the effect cymbal, just like with an acoustic kit. So if you are used to this kind of a setup, you can go for it. I prefer the more traditional way, so I use the included cymbal arm that goes to one of the stands. The sound module and the smartphone tray could, in theory, be mounted to any stand, but it makes perfect sense to me to use your hi-hat stand for this. After all, the module should be on the hi-hat side, because the cables to connect the pads are laid out that way. Talking about cables, all pads are connected via two multi-pin breakout cables that go to the back of the module. The bigger one is for most pads, while the smaller one is for some extras and also for the stereo output and MIDI. All cables are labeled, so things are as simple as they can be. Dual zone pads use one TRS cable each, while the triple zone cymbals need two cables, one for bow and edge, and another one for the bell. Here, you see me hooking up the right cymbal. The side rim sensor of the snare gets its own cable too. After setting all this up, I noticed that the front head of the bass drum had a few wrinkles in it. So I used a tuning key to get rid of them. And again, this felt a lot like setting up an acoustic drum set. The last steps are to connect the power adapter and your headphones or in-ears. Then power up the module, and you're good to go. I did the very simple calibration process for the hi-hats once, but apart from that, I didn't feel like I had to touch the trigger settings at all. Things felt very nice right out of the box. Now, finally, let's talk sounds. The F-Note 7X comes with a total of 128 instruments that are organized in 20 factory kits. There are a few percussion instruments, but most of the library is dedicated to acoustic drums. The library sounds very natural throughout, and I don't hear a lot of compression or heavy processing. Sometimes this is done to create a more produced or even mixed and mastered vibe, and I really like that the F-Note kits don't go down this path. There are a few options for sound editing, but the module doesn't go overboard with them. You can do tuning, muffling, basic EQing, you can layer sounds, and you can add different kinds of reverb. And all this can be saved in up to 80 user kits. Now, particularly with fast jokes on toms, there will be some machine gunning. 
I'd say that it really depends on how sensitive your ears are to this. And in this respect, the F-Note 7X is definitely on par with most other high-end electronic drum sets. Just listen for yourself. So how does it feel? I really like that everything about the F-Note 7X is pretty rock solid. The bass drum stays perfectly in place, there are no wobbling drum pads, and there's virtually no crosstalk between pads or playing zones at all. The cymbals do wobble noticeably, which actually gives them a very realistic feel. And I really like the realistic sizes, which are pretty uncommon for electronic drums, especially the 20-inch ride. The hi-hats are the most complex part of any electronic drum set. In this case, there are three optical sensors that measure the distance to the bottom pads. And this works really great. I counted six positions between tightly closed and wide open. Let's listen to this again. Another aspect that can be crucial for the playing field is latency. Now every electronic drum set does have some latency. The internal processing and DA conversion just take a little bit of time. Of course, these are only fractions of a second, and the F-Note 7X does very well here. I measured around 4 milliseconds. That's about the amount of time it takes sound to travel 4.5 feet, or just under 1.4 meters in the air. You probably won't feel this. So, here are my thoughts. If you want a rock-solid electronic drum set that gives you the feel of acoustic drums right out of the box, the F-Note 7X might be for you. Not only does it look like the real thing, it also sounds and feels a lot like it. It's a great choice for practicing at home, and small gigs are fine too. On bigger stages, you will miss additional outputs though. Now, this is a high-end kit with an impressive price tag. Is it worth the money? I definitely think so. And if you want to go with F-Note, but not invest that much, you can consider the standard edition of the F-Note 7, or maybe the smaller F-Note 5, or F-Note 5X. So, that's all I had guys, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. 
If you want to buy the kit, you can support our channel by using the affiliate link below. Thanks, and see ya.